Welcome to Panama City. Bienvenidos a Panama. Bienvenidos a Panama. Today I'm giving myself a budget of $70 to see just what I can get in one day. The currency here is pegged to the US dollar, so $1 equals one Panamanian Balboa. In fact, this country is so dollarized that here everyone just uses the US dollar. The ATMs just give out US dollar. The only currency you will see of their own is coins. Panama's population is a small country with just about 4.3 million people. Panama is sometimes considered the Dubai or New York of Latin America. It's considered a wealthier country, which is partially why I'm giving myself twice as much as I would spend in another country in the region. So now it's time to start my day. I'm walking through the city center and I see this guy selling coconut water. This is interesting. Usually I see people just selling a coconut and you drink the coconut, but he's actually selling coconut water. Who knows if he diluted it or not, but it is still pretty good. The price, $1. So I paid in US dollar. And he gave me back Panamanian money, which because the currency is one to one, it's quite easy. Next, I take an Uber to this island known as Causeway Amador. The price of the Uber, $6. I walk around here and see some incredible views of this city, but it's getting cloudy, so it's time to leave. But first I see this famous sign for Panama. Talk about good marketing. I walk around and then take another Uber. Again, the price is $6. Next, I arrive to the Panama Canal. The Panama Canal connects both the Pacific Ocean with the Atlantic Ocean, and it's said to have revolutionized the shipping industry. It's one of the main reasons Panama has become so rich. The ticket price, $10. I get to know about the history of the Panama Canal, then spend an hour just watching the process of a ship pass through. Even though it doesn't sound that exciting, I have to say it's actually really cool to watch what's happening here. 12,000 of these ships pass through the Panama Canal every single year. So right now, all of us are sitting here waiting to see this ship pass through. It takes about eight to 12 hours per ship to go from one side to the other. So this ship, as you can see, is going from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean, and we are all sitting around to watch the show. This is a really cool thing to see here in Panama. It's $10 for entry, and you kind of get to see how it works. You see the technology, the engineering, and the history behind it, and what makes it such an important part of uh, of Panama's economy as well as Panama's growth. So Panama has one of the highest minimum wages in all of the Americas behind the US, behind Canada. And a large reason for that is this. So this was definitely an educational and interesting part of my day. Next, I take another Uber. The price is $5. I arrive at the Waldorf Astoria in Panama City where I have a salmon bowl for lunch. The price, $16. So it's now evening and Uber is only $3.10 to this restaurant. So let's call it $3. I relax for a few hours before taking yet another Uber for dinner to the colonial part of town. I walk around this trendy part of town with cool restaurants and bars and it's pretty impressive with overall fun vibe. The entrance of this restaurant is a bit weird in that the hostess comes and locks the door in between letting different people in. I don't know if it's intentionally trying to be like a speakeasy vibe or it's just heightened security, but it's interesting. I go into this restaurant that's kind of fusion and here I try corn tortillas, shrimp ceviche, thinly sliced tuna and lettuce wraps. <laughs> Lettuce wrap, a peanut sauce in a lettuce wrap. This is gonna be interesting. So these are pickled veggies. I see carrot, I see ginger, I see eggplant. Get a little bit of eggplant in there. I'm gonna top it with some sesame dressing. Let's give this a try. Oh, and this rice, which is from the bottom of the pot. Yes, it's a random mix of food, but it totally makes sense since the name of this restaurant translates to whatever is available. The price for dinner costs $18. Plus, I pair it all with a Panamanian beer called Dorado, which costs me $5. So there, I did it. I spent $70 in one day in Panama. Of course, you can do it for cheaper or a lot more, but this was the optimum way to spend the day. Find my other cash budget challenges I've done from Bali and Bangkok to Turkey and Brazil. Let me know in the comments, what was your favorite part and what city should I go to next? And what budget should I give myself? While you're at it, check out more of my videos like Istanbul and Dubai. Subscribe to my channel. Find me on TikTok and Instagram at Upton.